Unraveling Mysteries, Understanding, Get to the Bottom of. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, get to the bottom of. This phrase is widely used in both casual and formal conversations, and understanding it can really help you in comprehending English dialogues and texts. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together and uncover the essence of this intriguing expression. When we say we want to get to the bottom of something, we're expressing a desire to fully understand a complex situation or problem. It's about digging deep, beyond the surface, to discover the root cause or the truth of a matter. This phrase evokes the image of peeling away layers or diving deep into something until you reach the most foundational level. Casual conversation. In everyday talk, you might use, get to the bottom of, when discussing personal mysteries or situations. For example, if your favorite mug goes missing, you might say, I'm going to get to the bottom of this and find out who took my mug. It's a way of expressing your determination to solve a minor mystery. Professional context. In a more formal or professional setting, this phrase can signify a thorough investigation or analysis. For instance, if there's a discrepancy in a financial report, a manager might say, we need to get to the bottom of these numbers and understand what went wrong. Here, it emphasizes the need for detailed examination and clarity. Literature and media, authors and journalists often use this phrase to highlight the quest for truth or the uncovering of secrets. The detective vowed to get to the bottom of the mystery, illustrates how this expression fits perfectly into narratives involving investigation and discovery. 1. Context matters. Before using this phrase, consider the context. Is it a casual conversation, or are you in a formal or professional setting? The phrase is versatile, but ensuring it fits the tone of the discussion is key. 2. Emphasize your determination. This expression is powerful for showing your commitment to uncovering the truth or solving a problem. Use it when you want to emphasize your proactive approach. 3. Combine with questions. You can also use this phrase when asking questions. For instance, can you help me get to the bottom of this issue? It's a great way to invite collaboration in solving a problem. And that's everything you need to know about get to the bottom of. Whether you're solving everyday mysteries or analyzing complex situations, understanding and using this expression can enhance your English communication skills significantly. We hope you found this video helpful and that it adds another useful phrase to your English language toolkit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content. See you in the next video.